Yeah. Mario. Yeah. Dear Mario, please rescue me. It has been 30 days. Yeah. Okay, so that means I'll just do everything else besides saving Peach then. <laughs> yeah, go talk to your brother. Maybe he has something new to say. Probably not. Probably not. He'll be yeah. tired. <laughs> so he's still tired. Yeah, he's gonna be tired for like the rest of the game. <laughs> He's not even like really you... in the ending, to be <laughs> honestly. Like, what did I tell you? The 3D Mario team resents him. Yeah. 64 DS was the fluke. <laughs> yeah, I'm convinced that if um, if there wasn't a second uh, quest with Luigi in this game, I'm I'm convinced that they wouldn't have put him in like the game at all. Because uh. that's usually how. Yeah. It's usually how it works. Like, again, like if you, yeah, if you aren't playable or something, you probably don't exist. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, boy, not, 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 not Yeah. So this is, yeah, this is the last uh, major level of the game. So it's going to be a lot more complicated. It also has, um, I, I'd argue the hardest main comet. That's not a purple comet. So. That should be fun. <laughs> yeah. Did you, really have, did you really have to do a long jump for that, Harry? No, but I like doing that. This theme has grown on me. It, it wasn't my favorite for a long time, but I do really like. I do really like this uh, music track now. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a favorite, but it's definitely grown on me over the years. I mean, it's at least notably different from most of the orchestral tracks in this game. Yeah, it's um. I can... It's a theme you'd probably hear more so in like 64, it's just with higher production values, I guess. Which I don't mind. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Not getting a lot of good jumps for this. Bit cramp. So I don't remember what stage is the uh, Daredevil Comet in this, but yeah, the levels in this in this level, uh, the levels in this world rather, are also some of the longest longer ones as well. So yeah, when you do do the Dev Daredevil uh, Daredevil Comet one, it does go on for a bit. So it's not not only that you're playing a hard level. It's also the fact that it goes on for a fair bit, so dying near the end feels really bad. Mm. That was a nice little secret. Yeah. Woo! And my shot. Yes. That is that is the trailer shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Alright. So ignore the heavy luma for now. That is a cool shot though. Wait, what? Eat me! No. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh! So that nerdy come lava comet hitting you? You got yeah. mushroom? Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this happens in the in like the final game here, but I think in like early versions, like Mario like flies through like a spire or something and it explodes, which is like yeah. really cool. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's not in the final game, but it's cool. Now, though, like, yeah. Little known fact that. The original <clears throat> version of this stage was supposed to have two toads battling each other with beam katanas in the background. What? <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. Wait, I said uh -huh. beam katanas, I meant beam sword. I'm, I don't know why I got no more heroes on the brain for some reason. I still need to play that. I mean, the, both all those games are on the Switch now, so... Yeah. There were no shortage of lava levels in this game, but this is the lava-est lava of them all. I'm, tr I'm trying to think, like, 
there's freeze flame and this. What other levels were there? I mean, some of the Bowser levels had some left lava, I think. Oh, that, that's fair enough. Oh, I love those red crystals. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, the this this level is a very good uh, test of what you've learned throughout the game because it basically tests you on everything. It was basically your final final level. Yeah, not counting the Bowser stage, I guess. Right. Oh, that final level just based on it being Bowser. Yeah. Although that is also a really good final level for its own reasons. Hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Do I love the uh, rising lava level? So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty sure the Daredevil Comet is that level that we just did. Oh, oh gosh. Mm. I'm still waiting for the Hungry Luma. There we go. Yeah, it was gonna happen sooner or later. I didn't realize how late the like the last couple Hungry Lumas show up because they pretty much have been showing up now when we've like barely had anything left to do. So we might as well just do this now. Hmm. So this might be really bad. <laughs> I know what exactly what this one is. And I haven't played in forever, so I don't know. Yeah. All right. All the what's it gonna be? Snowcap Galaxy. Mm. You know, the creation of all these new galaxies is gonna mess up the gravitational balance of the universe. <laughs> yeah. Just. Oh boy. Ah uh, so... yes, chasing bunnies, the favorite thing to do in Mars. Oh, uh, this is just a uh, catch them quickly level. Yeah, and it doesn't give you a lot of time, and they're a lot harder to catch than they have been so far. So, yeah. And if you fail to do it in time, they eat you. Yeah, you just kind of die. Whee. Oh right. Oh, <laughs> it just kind of goes around in orbit. <laughs> See, so, yeah. The, yeah. It's nothing but this, though, right? It's just this, yeah. And maybe I'll get... Hey, it's all good. It's not ugly, just a funny chase. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I'll get um, lucky with this, but... The, thi the thing is, as well, like, it's not only about... Oh, good. It's not only about uh, finding the bunnies, uh, or not, not chasing them, but you have to find them as well, which is not... You're probably going to fail a few times just kind of wandering around trying to get stuff to work. And, um... That timer looks generous, but it really isn't. You don't have a lot of time to dawdle, so you want to get the stuff done as soon as you can. The first thing you really want to do is get all these question mark uh, switches to get your fire flower. Because, um, yeah, some of them are in, like, the snowmen and whatnot, so that's a start. So busy work to unlock more busy work. Yeah. Um, the one piece of advice I can give people is... Use your cursor because that also gets rid of the snow. Uh, it's not great. Okay. It's not Burn the bunny! It's not great, but it's something at least. Yeah, it's not really working out. And of course, the fire flower is on a timer too because they cannot be generous at all. Yeah, that's. I would like to hit them with the star bit, but it's easier said than done. You can do that? You can, but it's not. Easy. Yeah, if you're lucky, you can like get them in a trap like this, because otherwise, it's like really hell to grab any of them. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, that's about the best advice I can give. Like, other than that, good freaking luck. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. Um, gel, yeah. gel. Yes, I think. Yeah, one should be in this chest. Yep. Oh, well then. Okay. That's two of them. That leaves one more. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think one of them is in, like, one of these little holes in the ground. Yeah, you know, you, you think a spin, a spin a move would actually help you, like, clear the snow out? That would be nice. God. Yeah, I don't know where this last one is. Ooh, is that? No. Eh. No! It's, in, it's been in your soul the whole time. I don't... I'm pretty sure it's not any of these. I think, I'm pretty sure all these are just coins. I don't know where the last one is. So yeah, we just get killed. <laughs> you failed. Die. <laughs> uh, it's weird how... I, I guess um, they didn't have the... Uh, the garbage... Uh, secret star kill you, because otherwise, like... That would have been more annoying than it already is. But, you know, still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not really... Yeah, I'm not really sure what the best strategy is for doing this quickly. Don't fuck up. Yeah, and not get stuck on things. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is just... I mean, it's the, la it's the last... Uh, what, what should we call it? Um, Hungry Luma, so I guess like it makes sense to be this difficult, but it's also just kind of annoying. <laughs> Not really a test of platforming, though. No, it's not a test of platforming. Yeah, it's like it's just do a annoying mini game. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Honestly, break all the snowmen first while you have the fire flower. Yeah, that's a good idea. If I can aim. They might be in one of those. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think... Eh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and find all of them first, and then catch them, I guess. Because that's two of them. I still don't know where the third one is, though. Eh. Okay, there we go. That's three of them. Alright, All right, so now... We have to catch them, which is easier said than done. Okay, that's one. If I can, like, trap them in those little holes, like this. Oh, there nice. we go. Yeah. Yeah. Go in there. Okay, cool. Cool, okay. We shall spare you now, mortal. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's not... I don't hate this star, but it's uh, not the best way to end Hungry Loomers, honestly. I, f I feel like it should have been like an actual platforming challenge or something. I guess they wanted to like book... not bookend, but like... Uh, end the bunny chase with, with like a final... Um, hurrah. Mario, are you prepared to save your special one now? Ha <laughs> ha, no! <laughs> Good joke. Oh wait, you are serious. But yeah, we like literally... Luigi. Huh? I do like Luigi actually does turn around to see where you're going. Yeah. But yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm impressed by basic AI movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we literally have no need for star bits in the main hub anymore, so we can just do that as much as we want. So now, now we finally have ammo. Yeah. Although, like I've said long back in, like, session one or two, uh, if you do get 9,999 star bits, all the, um, uh, was it, coconuts turn into watermelons, which is funny. <laughs> It doesn't really do anything, it's just a little thing that happens. Back in my day when you got all the collectibles and turned the whole environment autumn themed. <laughs> yes. How many of you could actually decipher what I was saying? I could nope. I, I could understand. Back in Mario World when you got all the collectibles and turned everything autumn themed. Yeah. Yeah, I knew what we were talking about. Okay, this is actually kinda clever because your instinct when you see these guys is usually just spin them to kill them. 
But if you do that, they're just gonna he's just gonna keep spawning and there's no way to go over there. So you actually have to use the use this guy to light up the torches, which is really cool. And then you can kill him. Well actually won, but it's not gonna do much. It'll satisfy my bloodlust. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure long jumping this is gonna kill me, so. Don't don't uh, as they would say, oh. don't try it. Don't try it. Yeah, I bet that would have killed you if you didn't try that. If you didn't run back. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> eh. Eh. No. Nah! What do you get for being greedy? <laughs> Listen to this pose. Yeah, he Mario getting flat in this game just doesn't look right. It just. Yeah. I yeah. I mean, yeah, it's getting flattened like paper, but then. It, it just looks like they literally compressed the model. Oh yeah, that's cool. I just, I mean, the life icon is kind of in the way, but I like how the the meteorite kind of just evaporates or whatever. Like, it just disappears when it goes near the black hole. That's cool. You know, if this was a real black hole, it felt the swamps would be getting quietly disintegrated and sucked through, like you know, the alien and alien resurrection. Yeah. <laughs> Faster. Yeah, I like how it's just. Stuff falling down everywhere. You know, we never really see meteors in Star Wars. Star Wars. That's a fair point. Yeah, yeah. you have like um, asteroid belts and whatnot, but. And now I'm thinking is uh, now I can think about it, are those cool bombs I've ever said too. All oh, right, you can't. Uh, what they call yeah. the seismic charges. Oh, yeah. that, those are like one of the coolest things I ever put on cinema. Like the sound design is just. Wow. Yeah, look, there's like a bit of silence and it's just. Brown. Yeah, no, they even did that sound in um uh, the, the Skywalker saga, and it's like bad. It was like, oh wow, that's cool. It's so cool. I haven't watched the whole series, but um, they do it. They bring ah. it. Yeah, they bring it back in. What do you call it? Book uh, of Boba Fett. Oh yeah, Book of Boba I Fett. It, yeah. I, I, no, I, I thought it was a Mandalorian. <laughs> uh, I think it's both actually. Um, but, yeah, they they use it to, like, destroy a bunch of TIE Fighters, and it's just so satisfying to look at. Yeah. Okay, this is a cool shot. So now we have to, like, guide a bullet bill through this thing. I hate escort missions. <laughs> I think... <laughs> Okay, this is not something I usually talk about, but um, there's um, I remember was it one of the, I think the Wii game of uh, Destroy All Humans actually made fun of that. <laughs> just like <laughs> it's just been like, why are there so many <laughs> escort missions in this game for? <laughs> I know this they remade the first two. I think I don't know if those gate like remakes are any good. Have you I played have those never. games? No. Any? Mm. Like I didn't have a PlayStation 2 at the time of the, when they were like, kind of at their peak of popularity. Mm. Yeah, I've um, mainly played the multiplayer with like, the second game. I haven't really played... I haven't really played them too much. Damn it. So that thing does not melt in lava, okay. Nah. I need to remember the... Um, like, momentum with this thing. It's been a while. The pitching sounds different for the theme. Yeah, it's a little bit higher. I mean, I guess it, it, it speaks to the urgency of the locale, but yeah. I haven't heard it in a while. The game sounds is... Like it has a, yeah. sit, sounds like, am I hearing a sitar? Like, in... It might be. It's like the lava theme. It's like the it's like it's like the star ball theme is changing to match the the actual levels music. Uh. All in one. Oh no. Yeah, this is the final time we're gonna see the ball rolling. So yeah, this is the final time we'll see any Mario golf on the Wii. <laughs> yet yeah, having this thing steady is harder than it looks. Like, maybe this will be easier with a Wii Remote, but... 
I don't have that luxury right now. Like, maybe it will be better with a Joy-Con, I don't know. So, um... Uh, no! To... Damn it. Bad. <laughs> I want to presume those blue pillars of light will hurt you. Probably. Either that or they're just, like, invisible walls. I'm gonna try jumping. Let's In today's test. session, we're going to make Mario's cheeks clench. Let's see, does it... No? I don't know what these are. I guess it's just the, the game saying, like, you're, you probably shouldn't go beyond this. Oh my god! Eh! 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 I'm not doing this on purpose, I swear! Uh. Tell it to Mario. <laughs> okay. As long as you just get your speed up, like, you're gonna make that jump. Now, I believe that in the interest of realism, the coin should singe Mario's hands when he touches the ones that are floating above Stop the lava. Stop going to the side! Okay. Yeah. And I need to make two final jumps. Also, Mario should like just catch fire when he's when he's above the lava as well. Yeah. There we go. These are novel observations. <laughs> oh gosh, now you're making me climb! Oh, mamma mia! Ugh, exercise. I swear to God, if they activate the Daredevil combo. At least let me finish the third star. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, oh good! <laughs> we have enough stars for their own donations! <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Oh god, oh god. Oh, okay, okay. We can at least do the third star. Yeah, then we're gonna have to deal with the, you know. Yeah. Fiery Dino Piranha. Yeah. So yeah, the game's bookending the uh, bosses, or the stage no. bosses, I guess. I don't know why, but black shelled eggs just kind of like, dropped me to is them. I forget, is this the dare? Isn't this the Daredevil run? No, the Daredevil is the first star. Oh. No other background. So in terms of lava levels, how, as far as lava levels go, though, what, how would you guys like rank this one? I don't know, because I think of uh, the one from Mario Galaxy 2 more. Yeah, I... I think of anything. Yeah. The, one, the one that has the blogs marching around. Mm. Yeah, it's that and the, the one that has the rock mushroom thing. When I think of... Although, when I think of lava levels, the very first one that comes to mind is... Um, uh, Hailfire Peaks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's also true. I, I mean, there's also Lethal Lava Land, I guess. I think that's one of the, uh, I do think that's one of the uh, better levels in 64. Um, oh, so this is a unique planet, I guess. Uh, I I don't remember if there's any other point in the game where you have to do this besides like I don't know maybe going for a, a secret star, uh, but you have to kill all these enemies here to activate the launch star, which isn't a normal thing. So that's unique, I guess. Sometimes you kill enemies to uh, just, like, okay. free a launch star, like, yeah. from its glass container. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Hellfire Peaks, um... I'm actually trying to think of lava levels now. Um... I probably... I probably... Pardon me. Um... Since Pac-Man World 2, I... That was such a formative game for me. I probably just think of its lava levels. Oh yeah, that game just that game just does standard platformer environments and covered most of the bases. Yeah, and also it helps that one of the levels of that world is one of the levels of that world is called Volcanic Panic, and that I just like rhymes and it has the same name as a Pokemon episode. So that's nice. Huh.
I am sick and tired of this side-scrolling bull crap in my 3D Mario's. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah. I want a Mario game, not Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah. Nice landing. Ah. Yeah. Crap. Uh, wall jump. Okay. Can you not wall jump off these? Apparently not. I guess not. Okay. No, this whole section section with kill speed runs. Yeah, you have to have like good positioning with like all these platforms. Yeah, th I definitely say this is decently high up there um, for lava levels. It's a cool spectacle, very nice challenge for like the end of the game. And I like I like how it bookends the bosses as well, because yeah, fiery dino piranha is um, a lot more difficult than the original counterpart, because mainly for the fact that the tail is um, is like periodically on fire like that. So it makes it a lot hard, harder to like, actually hit this guy. You know, again, this guy didn't do anything to us. Like, why is Mario terrorizing has, the it, wildlife? And as I said in part one, it has our star. <laughs> no, no, no. Who said it was our star? <laughs> well, well, Rosalina needs it, so. Yeah. Also, I, I didn't get the chance to talk about the theme because the boss was, the first boss was really easy, obviously. But I really do love the Dino Piranha theme. Ah. Yeah, you pretty much have to hit it like immediately as it like uh go like turns off. Turns off, especially on the third hit, because it's it's like do 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 do. <laughs> yeah, I, I like stuff like this where it, the game just like bookends things. Mm. Oh my god, dude! Just turn off. You can't hit Harry. Turn off is stay, good. Stay, be stay behind them. Well, I mean, yeah, just stay, stay close to the tail itself. Yeah. But just don't, so you can react faster. Right. Like oh, that. Okay, there we go. Oh, I turned on for half a second. You saw that? <laughs> yeah, I know he shoots fireballs. Yeah. Uh, Galaxy 2 does do this as well, but um, it's um, he the, the whole like turn of the previous boss like fiery, but it's um, the first grand star boss instead of the first like stage boss. But we'll talk that's about the, that. That's the dragon eel, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> are we actually gonna die? Uh, there are some coins. Yeah, we've never done it before, but you can turn those uh, leaves into flowers. Ah, huh, money really does grow on trees. Yeah. Or on plants, anyways. Oh, dude. Yeah, the problem with, like, doing this, uh, like, going from behind, is the fact that you can't catch up to it. So you have to, you really kind of, for the last one anyway, you really do kind of have to, like, swivel around. No! Oh, mm. There we go. No, Flood, I don't need you. This game's called Galaxy, not Super Mario Sunshine 2. <laughs> uh. Alright, cool. Hi folks, I'm practicing my Mario voice in preparation for story time with Scrappy, which airs every Saturday or Sunday at <laughs> an, irregular, an irregular time. Yeah. Alright, what's gonna be first? Daredevil or Secret Star? <laughs> Luigi Star. He's back! Yes. At this time, he's in the mood. 102 Dalmatians, my favorite live-action Disney movie. Hmm. I should start watching the Disney movies again, also. I'll just feed Polari. Oh, I yeah, think you'll feed name. that, Luma. <laughs> Mwah.